Yeah, what is up, everybody? Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we're playing more Civ 6, continuing with our diplomatic victory campaign with Catherine the Magnificent. We still got that. Uh, points popping out there. Diplomacy, we're still technically in first place, but we got a long way to go. Uh, we can call World Congress. Oh, hey, yes. Add proposal. Don't pass. Add proposal. That's great. That means we're going to get a bunch of money, which is helpful because we might need to then send that money to someone else because of their natural disaster. We might also want to buy some things. You know, it would have been great to actually have that last era and we could have bought a couple temples. <laughs> I'm not going to let that go, man. God, that sucks. If we would have had a little more foresight, we, we definitely screwed up. And here's the thing. If I wasn't playing on camera, I would have reloaded that. I would have reloaded that instead of buying the university, bought the two temples, or suzerained, uh, levied both armies. Levying both armies would have probably been the cheaper route. But honestly, having double temples wouldn't have been a bad idea either. Because we would have been able to get the government a little quicker. And slightly quicker on the production there, but oh well. Uh, I want money. I just want the money. Uh, are you asking for clams? Hey, hold up. Do you want my clams? Yes. Bronk button. Two zero, not 200, not 200. There we go. It's 152 gold. Not as much as I thought. Well, let's try 150 straight away. Probably not going to accept it. So it's probably going to be closer to 120. Which, quite frankly, seems like... Does she not want the horses? Because we've been getting 110 out of everyone for this. That's 152 gold. So wait, she's not giving us any money for this. Oh, okay. I completely mis uh, mistook what was happening there. All right, just ignore me. Uh, and sure, I'll just take your gold per turn. That's fine. It's fine. Now, keep in mind, after this next proposal, we want to accept. Now, there is something to be said about maybe not proposing it so other people can't get diplomacy victory points, but, like, whatever. It really doesn't matter. I want the money, man. I need the money. So you go here, you go here. I don't think I can fix this, right? Because it's not my territory. How many turns? Five. I think we're still going to be able to do it. I'm going to pillage the farm just so I can get back up to full HP real quick. We might need to do some suicide attacks. All right, let's go freaking work on that. I know I need a mine here, but like, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Uh, Alhambra finished. Yeah, no, we know about that. We know about that. We know about that. Okay. Uh, what are you building? Encampment. Okay. Got scared there. Also, we're good. We're good. We're still building. Stop taking my city streets. I'm not going to put diplomacy victory points on it because they should say yes. And if they didn't, whatever. They can't get diplomacy score. Like, it's not the end of the world. Yes. Give me money. That's all we want right now. Money. So, stop stealing my freak. Oh, say. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We have you doubled. Yeah. So, giving one would actually give two. So, you actually have three there. So, then this would be eight. So I can't actually flip you. Who's Suzerain? Peter. Oh crap, we lost us to the territory. Ah! It's gonna end up getting conquered, so there's not really much I can do about it, I think. So whatever, whatever. We'll save our uh, diplomats then. God, we need to meet other people. How's our second harbor going? 10 turns. Can I speed that up? No. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, then. You can go back. 
Uh, do we want to grow a little quicker? Is housing an issue here? No, housing is not an issue here. So I'm wondering about flipping Rochelle here. I want the 32. Yeah, I think we do that, which is technically going to slow you down, but we'll grow, and then it should allow us to speed up a little bit. Right? I think overall it's going to be a little quicker. I don't know. Man, because I need... We might want to switch off cartography. Just because we are going to get it. We might just not be quite quick enough. So we just don't want to waste the time. So you're going to pillage, and then you're going to come here. We are slowly burning Nazca down. I, I really do think I need to hit it, though. Uh, just so I can get it down quick enough. I don't have crossbows, right? So an archer's not going to do next to anything against it. I'm trying to think if another catapult, because I can't shoot from there, so I'd have to go here. But this is a hill with a forest, so I wouldn't be able to shoot on it. So I would have to go all the way over here. Which I could get there in two turns. So if I bought it now, I would be there with one turn left. Nah. I think we can just attack it a couple times and be fine. So, I, I think we got the city. We should have the city. I wish I could repair this, though. <laughs> it would be really nice. Repair their forest and then immediately take it over again. You can chill, although we might want to start sending... You know what? Let's start getting you towards the water. Because we'll get you nearby so you can just start uh, getting ready. How do we get over here, by the way? There was a way to get over here. So I could have actually had you going this whole time. What are you, what, Brian, Brian. <sighs> Just don't speak to me. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, oh, you know what, I forgot. They're gonna give us a bunch of money. Not that that really helps us right now in conquering the city, but money's always good. Dude, lots of money, man. We're kind of cruising on cash for this point in the game. Yeah, I have to say. Not used to making this much cash this early in the game. All right, so you're down to the red. We should be able to take it out, I think, next turn. Even with the game. If not, we should be able to take it out the turn after. And then we're going to hold on to Nazca. Or would he, do we want to flip? Hmm. I actually think we flip it. I think we return it as a city-state if we can. I actually don't think we can. Yeah, we might not be able to. But if we can, we want to return as a city state just because I need the diplomatic favor. So, right? Maybe. I guess. Sure. Uh, buy land units with faith. We're not doing anything else with our faith, but I'm still going to do the intelligence agency just for the money from the spies. And then builder. Yeah, you're just still chilling there because we're going to want you. We still want a builder over here. There's still a lot of builders we want. Do I want to spend our money on something? Yeah, let's just get a builder. Uh, I can't afford it. 520. God, they got expensive, dude. They really did. So next turn, we got our city here. I'm trying to send him over here to see if he can help, but I don't think it's going to make it in time. Now, it would really suck is if a knight comes in and just ninjas it. Oh, my God. I got so scared there. <laughs> it moves so fast. I was like, no. That's what I was talking about. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So that gives us our suzerain back. Now, odds are... Odds are they're going to be able to take it back... So we might want to surround it with our troops. Pop out just a couple base level troops and just kind of surround it just so they can't take it. I think that might be our goal. Do I want to promote you? I don't know that made a difference. We'll have to see next turn. 
Yeah, I think I think we do want to uh, keep you surrounded. Like, if Russia takes it again, whatever. And honestly, it's not a terrible idea just to kind of cheese out diplomatic favor by doing it. I actually forgot you got diplomatic favor, which is totally the reason why we should have done it the way we did it. Um, but if China takes it, that's where things get really awkward. So worst case scenario, we want a troop there and we want a troop there. So he has to river cross to attack the city center. Now, the problem is, obviously, if he uses... Uh... Ooh, this is gonna suck no matter what we do here. We'll do Granary, but let's go ahead and lock in the harbor. Uh, but the problem is gonna be is if he uses catapults or uh, bombards or something along those lines. Okay, so cartography, we're not good to switch. Uh, I don't think there was anything here we wanted to switch, so it didn't matter. Yeah, just keep popping out settlers. That was not a fun spot. Yeah, we lost our Cahokia mound. Do you lose the Cahokia Mound if you lose Suzerain? I think he got pillaged, right? One population lost, three tiles gained fertility. I actually don't know if you lose it. That's a very good question. Are you at war with someone? No. Surely you're not actually having loyalty issues. No. That's just, uh, it's a glitch. It happens. Okay, we got 15 turns there, so we still got potential. Temple. Oh, no, no. Give me the workshop. Can we buy? Ah! Purchase the workshop. Next turn. Uh, you know what? No. Screw it. Let's purchase it this turn. My favorite part of the game is sending and making trade deals. Oh, I love it. It's so fun. There's nothing like doing this over and over. Uh, here. Take some of this. Even though you're probably not paying much. Hold up. Before we do any of that. Are you paying me for this? Yes. Okay. Uh, so 20. Boom. Open borders. Should be able to get a good cash payout on that. Uh, 220. I'll accept that. Okay. So then we wanted to go Hong Kong and we want to purchase that workshop. Because... It is adjacent, right? I am correct in this. It's not. It's the factory. Well then, never mind. It'll be helpful here in the future. Now, not so much. Future, yes. Okay, it's fine. I kind of want to almost do an entertainment here, but eh, kind of almost want a dam as well. Let's do the obelisk because we need the air up. Uh, yeah, the happiness, the loyalty. And then what do we want to do? I really wanted a campus. Really wanted that campus, buddy. Really kind of screwed me on that one. Uh, so I guess commercial hub. Doesn't matter what river I put it on. If I go here, I can put a campus there for another point or a holy site. So yeah, we'll do it there. Uh, let's lock that in. And then let's go ahead and lock in a campus. I would rather put a theater square there. Yeah, you know what? We need it. We need to get some theater squares going. We're a little behind the theater square of eight ball. Okay, you're good. <sighs> so I need a lumber mill here. And I mean, this city is just going to completely suck, but that's fine. You're just there to flip. Why are we still behind in theater squares, by the way? Because we hadn't really built any. That's why we started a bunch, but then we just never finished them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this would actually put us at six, which would give us 12. I am going to grab it. Because no one's going to be close to Nazca. Uh, having enough air score for that. So I think this works. And I am going to send you over there. I'll have you come and block. Okay, keep advancing. What are we looking at? 14 turns. God, we're getting close, man. We're getting close. We got eight turns here until we get two points. Yeah. Actually, why are we not just buying a builder? Yeah, let's, yeah, 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 Brian. Go do the theater square. Uh, we also can now afford another building here. 
putting a commercial hub here? Nah, because I don't want to get rid of that tile. I think we did want a campus here, but I need to chop it. So let's go worry about chopping you out and then put the campus there. And that's gonna be, that's gonna max out your districts. You can afford another one. Yes, you can. Commercial hub's already started. I actually think I want an industrial zone here before the campus. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a plus one all the way down here. Why? Oh, strategic resource. I mean, not really gonna get much better, so. If we had Reyna, we could buy it, but yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's not gonna happen. Do we want to buy some tiles down here and get that? I, I, uh, uh. Actually, you know what I want? I want to, I want a builder here. As this is where we want our next builder, because we want to finish this up a little quicker. Um, okay, so next turn. Oh, you had promotion. Hold up. Uh, wake up. Promote. We defending because we want shells. Uh, next turn, let's switch off cartography, Brian. Switch off cartography. Switch it off. Switch off cartography. Switch it off. Now, Cahokia is another one where maybe we send our troops over here to try grabbing it or buy some troops to try flipping it back. Uh, after it flips, grab it so we can liberate it to Cahokia. Once again, error score and, uh, not error score, but gold per turn. No, no, no. Uh, diplomatic favor and then also diplomatic favor per turn. Would not be terrible. What about an aqueduct here? I need dish towel. I mean, if I did an aqueduct here, I could put an industrial zone here. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Who am I and what have I done with Brian? <laughs> uh, we're doing the freaking aqueduct thing again. Why? Okay, so you were coming. No, no, no. You got to block this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay, so then Cahokia Mound? We are suzerain again. But why did I put points to Cahokia, Brian? Doesn't matter. It's a couple extra point favor per turn. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know why I did it though. <laughs> Brain. Brain. I'm starting to get hungry for lunch, so we're starting to make stupid uh, decisions. Oh my god, I hate you so much, game. Alright, we'll go chop you out then first. Got like 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go eat lunch. So let's just survive. There are very honest people. I don't know what I did. I don't know. I could have sworn we didn't. Whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just. Just stop. Stop screwing up, Brian. So do we want to finish promoting you? No. I think it's ping time. Right? We could keep Liang in our capital. That would be an option. So the volcano doesn't explode and keep destroying us. But I don't mind it destroying because it just makes the tiles even better. So it's like, eh, whatever. Um, Great people points would be interesting. The other option would be going straight for money here. Yeah. Double the bonuses here. Ooh. And then tax collector. I think we're in Durena. Because we need money. Because ultimately, what's going to happen with these aid requests? We just need to send a bunch of money. That's it. Dude, no one's sending us aid. Come on, guys. Where the freaking heck's my aid, man? Uh, we still want to keep all those. It doesn't really matter. Still, uh, mine here. I'm pretty sure this one is Ambrose. Yes, it is. Uh, we could go chop you out. We could also go chop you out and build a mine. And I actually think that's our goal here. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, then you're going here, and we will chop next turn. Uh, so we can get the campus, and then we'll go build everything. Hopefully this blows up, you know, next turn. <laughs> Not like in three turns. You know it's gonna blow up again. It, it, I mean, it's gonna happen. Cahokia is not long for the world. Not really a whole lot we want to build. There is something to be said about uh, Court Festival. Just to speed up. Or even Theater Square. Court Festival probably doesn't help us as much, but... I don't care about the dam. This does give us two production, so we'll go with that. And then, you know what, give me the walls too, just cause. I like one level of walls. You know, I don't need to have it, but it's nice to have it. Let's start with Commercial Hub. Uh, no, Theater Square. Theater Square, change my mind. Did we ever build a theater square here? Yes, we did. So we still need... Okay, it's coming. I was going to say, we need the next level of theater square buildings. Also, how are we looking here? 9, 10, and 7. I... Because mm. we need... We have to get mercenaries first. So I, I think we go civil engineering and we just got to stay with monarchy, which kind of crap, but whatever. And we're just really hoping no one ninjas this from us. Probably going to be about eight turns once I chop. Kill wall, terracotta army. I, here's the funny thing. I don't know, or I highly doubt anyone rushed out astronomy. Just for the wonder, it's somewhat unlikely. They're more likely to come up here, grab this. They're more likely to come down here and get like cav and stuff like that. So we should be fairly okay. Like, I don't think we have to worry about people ninjaing it from us. So now, here's the interesting question. Do we want to try actually getting an alliance with Korea? Like, what about a military alliance with Korea? And then Germany, we could do the research. Right? I think so. And I should, like, also offer this stuff, but, like, it's just too much work right now. So we'll do that. We want to do the military with you, because we had it with Germany, remember? Uh, then China, we have to do the cultural alliance. Let's actually see how bad are our buildings flipping right now without the cultural alliance. Cali is flipping quite quickly. And that's about it. Okay, so it's not super necessary, but I don't want to lose Cali. So, uh, cultural. Don't do the wrong one. That would be kind of terrible. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Accept. Then we did, ugh, we did econ, no, we did religious with you because we did economic here. Yep. Okay. Because we're making crazy amounts of money sending uh, the trader out over the water. And that wasn't even our capital, right? Pretty sure it wasn't. No, that's not our capital. That's our second city, though, correct? Pretty sure. All right, Marseille, I need to get some theater squares popping out, so let's go knock that out for now. Um, we might switch back. I don't know. Yeah, we might switch. Where is Magnus? He's right there. We probably need to put him back up there. So we could switch our government policies, but eh, we'll get there. We'll get there. I am going to go ahead and do more settlers because we still want a couple more territories. I'm just getting a couple random theater squares. And here's the other thing. Basically, I just want to be able to flip Cahokia. Germany's got a large army up there, though. We are friendly. Now, I can't wait to see Not Ethiopia. I wonder if everyone's still at war with Ethiopia. So this should be Ariscore, correct? And all naval can now do ocean tiles. Beautiful. Beautiful. So go on auto explore. Uh, and yeah, you can come over here now. Now... Good, it's still scouts. We're gonna send you over here and go explore this direction. Cool. Do we want square rigging? Let's think about this. Let's let's actually come here and grab a uh, niter 
first. Yeah, Kilwa already got built. Stirrups, whatever. Uh, shipyard would be worth it. The only other thing would be industrialization. Actually, industrialization is probably next. So we'll do niter into industrialization just because we want coal. We want the mine improvement. Uh, River Valley would be great, but really we want the factory. Okay. Okay. So you're going mine here. These are some sexy, sexy tiles. And then, yeah, we'll go build on these. Wait, why are you generating culture? Plus two culture. That's just the chateau. It's not because it's adjacent to the city center, nor is it because it's adjacent to the theater square. What am I missing here? Reina's not there, so she's not given any boost. Uh, okay. Why would those fishing boats be giving us culture and not the other ones? Huh. Uh, no! Leave my friggin' city states alone, Germany! Oh my god! Ah! God, freaking Germany! How does he have loyalty pressure up here? I mean, I guess Cahokia is a halfway decent size. Um... He doesn't have a lot of loyalty here, and he's in a golden age, right? No, he's in normal age. So he's in the same era as us. Dang it, dude. There's our lighthouse. I forgot to switch off cartography. I told myself to switch off cartography, and what did we do? We forgot to switch it off. Thank you guys for reminding me. How dare you? How dare you guys all forget that? Gosh. All right, I'm going to send you up here just so I have you ready to go. Nazca seems to be fine for now. Uh, you're chopping out. Okay, I want to do at least one more turn here. Uh, you go auto explore. Not that there's much to explore. <sighs> Freaking Germany, man. Freaking Germany. Why do you hate all the city states? I mean, I know why, but it's like, ah! It's like, it's not even close to you, man. I wonder, can we get a city state here? Or a city? Yes, we can. Might actually be a better idea to put a city there. Nah, this is a pretty good tile. Yeah, it's a pretty good tile here. And as you grow, Cahokia should start flipping. Now, if he grabs Hunza, nah, there's no way he holds on to Hunza. Hunza would flip. 10 to 10, Hunza flips. And then once Hunza flips, I think Cahokia flips. So, sure. All right, we're at five turns here. And it is freaking important for us to finish this. Oh, uh, that's the entertainment complex. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you're a little slow on your buildings, but okay. Keep it up. We're finally going to land on the other continent, which is great. We're, we're looking at a dark age right now, but we're about to get the chateau. It's okay. Totally okay. We won. Beautiful. 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 So there's plus two era score, so now we're at four. Cool. Why was I thinking we're about to be at five for something? Oh, yeah, the wonder. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Let's, we're going to go a little longer, and we're going to actually freaking finish this wonder. Uh, we got a lot of money. I kind of still want to keep our money, but let's go ahead and get some of these buildings because we've just not had the time. And then we could actually maybe build some units just for uh, future offensive purposes. Let's just move here. So that's era score. There's some stuff for us. We'll go work on that. He's got at least some musket men, so, you know, he's got a fighting chance here. Nazca's still friendly with everyone. So do I want to send these troops up? Maybe. Maybe. But anyways, let's let's get the game going. Go there and uh, let's lock down commercial hub. Ooh. Ooh, that's two mines. Yeah, I don't really necessarily want to do that. What about the theater square? Let's go throw it there. Uh, and lock it down, Brian. Thank you. Uh, we never locked down... Yeah, we did harbor. I was like, we never locked down one there. You might actually be able to afford another one, but 
progress is so slow. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, okay. Well, definitely melee. We should be able to win this one. Um, and then trade routes to me. So we should be able to get points for both of these. I don't want to spend all of our points. I'm about 99% sure we can get these because usually this is like we win these 90% of the time. Good. So I didn't want to put too many points because I still want to maintain as much uh, diplomatic points as possible. And yeah, we're still kind of cruising over everyone else. So we're at six now. Awesome. Uh, Shrine? No, no, no. Amphitheater. Uh, okay, fine. You convinced me. Build the amphitheater and instead go work on a settler. And let's go ahead and move Magnus back up to Marseille. So we don't lose population. So we can keep pressure up here. Uh, and then build the mine. You repaired the mine. You're going to go repair this one. This is not giving us culture now. That must have been a bug or something. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I hate the fact that the theater square got pillaged, but it is what it is. Six food here, dude. Crazy. Uh, three turns on this wonder. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Daddy wants a new wonder. Daddy wants a new wonder for Christmas. Uh, I think this will be quickest. Yeah. All right. There's Yurvin. Dang it. <laughs> so Yurvin was in the game. Woo. Dude, that was a lot of faith based. Like Nazca and Yurvin, man. If we would start as Russia, we could have won a, a religious victory pretty easily. Blast. Hunza right now so seems to be doing okay. Am I thinking of Civ 5 where you used to be able to donate units to city-states? That would actually be really nice to have. Or maybe you can do it in this game, you just have to move the unit there. I... Hold up. Donating units to city-states. Is that Civ 6 or Civ 5? Gifting units in Civ 6. How do you gift a unit? There's no mechanic. Okay. I think it was Civ 5 you could do that, right? I could swear that was a mechanic at some point. Which, honestly, would really help keep the city-states alive against the um, unchecked aggression that they constantly have. It would be a very helpful mechanic to have. And I can't imagine it would be that hard to implement. Like, and not just the city-states. I feel like you should be able to gift units to... Oh my god. Uh, to everyone. Yo! Game! What?! It's almost as if I cheated to find out where the Niter was. Okay, so we already have... Ah, it's a Cahokia Mound. God. So we're going to need two builders, it looks like. Dude. <laughs> it's almost like I put a city there on purpose. That's crazy, because there's, like, nothing here. Huh. All right, grab that. We actually have a trade route available. From where? Oh, yeah. You. Wait, no. Oh, because of this. Ah. We can't afford another builder, but we can get the trader out. Uh. I'm going to send it from here, and hopefully we're going to be able to reach it over to Scythia. Because we want the error score. Okay, we got to keep going. Got to keep going. We're at 33 minutes, man. We got two turns left. There's so much happening, man. Oh god, Windows popped up the virus threat. I thought it was the running out of space uh, issue, and that's always scary. Okay, so you're actually going to be a halfway okay town now. And we want you to come here and grab the iron eventually. I think Hunza is going to survive. We lost the suzerain. Uh, wait, Brian, what are we doing? Yeah. <gasps> Kumasi. And by Kumasi, Kumasai. What's Reformed Church? Have six cities... Oh, well, yeah, we're never getting that one. <laughs> uh, okay. Before we invest anything... Okay, you seem fairly safe. As in, no one's actually going for you. So I'm going to send you there. And I think I am going to take my two envoys and grab back Hunza. Mostly because that's gaining us money, man. Now, there's a chance it gets destroyed here, but whatever. 
Okay, so this should give us decent amount of cash if we go up here. 28 freaking gold, dude. 28 freaking gold. And that's giving us the roads too. Yas. Yas. Beautiful. Let's freaking go. I love it when things work out right. Okay, so I need you to move off my freaking tile, buddy. Uh, one turn now. Wait, is this the turn? <gasps> This should be against Germany for declaring war. And hopefully that one passes. Hello, Ethiopia. We finally meet the great lion. We've ever, never actually seen this. And it's movable, too. Hey, let's be friends. Although everyone hates you. Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. Uh, what game? Uh, what? Oh, you're freaking kidding me. I can't send him a delegation because the game bugged. But we got the Potato Palace. Let's go. So that also gives us one diplomatic policy slot, which is nice. Uh, apparently he accepted it? Okay. And we got a friendship with him right away. Okay. Um, And the religious did pass, or the emergency. So now he's at war with Russia and Ethiopia. And then the religious emergency passed, and China's against that. So a lot of our neighbors are now in um, having some issue with each other. The downside is, doesn't this give him extra... I actually think that gives him extra uh, 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 loyalty, which means it's going to be a little harder to flip him, which is always kind of annoying. But that might pull him off this, especially because he's at war with Russia, right? <gasps> yes, so that means Russia's going to end up killing his troops, so Hunza's going to stay neutral. Yeah. And guess what, guys? We now have seven diplomatic victory points. We are freaking cruising. Okay, let us go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit that subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. Things are looking up. They're looking up. I mean, it's not like things were looking down, but there's definitely challenges. Um, and I think we're kind of moving past the challenges. Also, how is there a dust storm in the ocean? I assume it came from here and it moved to the ocean. Still! Seems a little messed up. So with the diplomatic policy slot. Does that count with Imani? So would Imani count for three then instead of two? If so, we immediately have Suzerain. Which is interesting. I wonder, can we just really quickly grab an envoy two turns? Yeah, I actually think it's worth it. So that we can grab two in uh, Kumasi, and then we'll actually have eight points there. And so, Kumasai. Uh, so anyway, so we have the Suzerain right away. And then that's actually going to give us extra gold as well in our trade routes. So our trade routes are going to be pretty freaking baller. All right, anyways, see you guys next episode. Bye, everyone!